Uh, we will next have Anush, who will talk to us about the importance of sustainability, which Suranga also talked about, and how he built a world-class business centering around the world is for all species and for all future generations. They collect around 3,000 tons of plastic every year, which is around 20% of the plastic imports into Sri Lanka from approximately 300 collection centers. Perhaps the only entity that does this in the world at a single company level, quite an achievement. Anush, over to you. Thank you. Officials of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We all know about the tremendous harm plastics can cause if not properly recycled. We have all heard seen and experienced its impact over the years. We have all witnessed and are aghast by what, we, what it has done and continues to do to our environment. Let me commence my presentation today by sharing with you a short film that moved me into doing something. This is something I saw a few years back whilst researching on the subject. Do we have the courage to face the realities of our time and allow ourselves to feel deeply enough that it transforms us and our future? an ocean of grief.
Very moving, isn't it? I will now show you the efforts we have made to collect plastic waste in Sri Lanka. I will explain to you the details of the organization that we have set up to intercept this waste and to put it to better use. The next film will show you one such initiative about how we work at a community level to collect plastic waste. Our communities are the lifeblood of our nation. They nurture us, support us, and are central to our identity. Unfortunately, there is a burgeoning threat to us all, our rapidly declining environment, in particular, the overuse and poor disposal of plastic waste. How are we to ensure our safety and uplift and celebrate our communities without protecting them first? This is where Eco Spindles comes in. We are able to provide not only the infrastructure, but also the capacity and know-how to view this would-be ecological disaster as untapped potential benefiting all parties involved. We dedicate ourselves to partnerships with organizations like the Asia Foundation, Coca-Cola, and many more whose initiatives and holistic attitude towards recycling is inspiring and synonymous with ours. We aim to develop a sustainable financial model for PET collection by establishing collection centers in Biagama, Gaul, Vaunia, and Jaffna, and by working with local authorities to involve communities and provide jobs in this sector, a grassroots approach with the potential for success and longevity. The network these projects aim to build extend from government bodies formulating and legalizing action plans to individuals who collect and sort bottles, as well as the private sector, where companies such as ours bail and transport the bottles to our facilities. In doing so, this plastic will no longer be discarded, damaging ocean ecosystems or burned, releasing harmful toxins in the air. Instead, it will be processed at our factories, where we possess the technology to turn this waste into value-added recycled goods. Outreach and training events targeted at marginalized groups, specifically the establishment of a woman's collectives at these collection centers, increases the opportunity for employment exponentially in these areas, alleviating the financial and societal constraints placed on these disadvantaged men and women. In uplifting themselves, they simultaneously uplift their families and their wider community. It's time to make a change as a collective, as a community. As the film showed, this initiative of ours provides a wide range of employment opportunities to several. We have around 300 such collection agents involved in the collection of plastic waste across the country. They contribute to a collection, the collection of approximately 3,000 tons of plastic waste each year. That's around 20% of the plastic Sri Lanka imports to produce various plastic goods or the equivalent of around 100 million PET bottles. You may have all heard about the plastic waste that's floating around in our oceans. The next clip showcases our efforts in limiting plastic from getting to the oceans. Seventy-three percent of beach litter worldwide is plastic. Over the past 50 years, world plastic pollution has doubled. Over 100,000 species have gone extinct as of 2019. Fifty percent of plastic is single use. The statistics are alarming and are only becoming more so. Being able to reverse these effects seems an impossible task and so overwhelming that as individuals we don't know how to begin take a deep breath start with yourself 
This is the sentiment this initiative echoes, ensuring that for every plastic bottle taken out to sea by our fishermen, one is brought back. This may not seem much, but it ends up being over 20 tons a month. That is around 1 million bottles. See how it adds up? We've successfully set up bottle collection centers in several of our main fishing towns, including Nigampo, Gaul, and Hikadua, as well as an efficient transportation network for these bottles to our factories. Here, they will be washed, made into flakes, and transformed into value-added recycled products. And this whole process is entirely transparent. Encouraging fishermen and villagers in the area to deposit these bottles in our bins establishes a culture of recycling, one which they will pass down to their children, and one which this country and the world sorely needs. Erase your own carbon footprint. They are. You should do. Our annual plastic collections are extremely high for a single organization. We are not aware of anyone else that does this globally in such a scale. But what truly sets us apart is what we do next with the plastic. Some years ago, we began by using plastic to produce a range of brushware, which we export around the world. Today, our brush making in the subsidiary Bera brush is amongst the largest producers of brushware in Asia. These brushes are sold to the cleaning, food services, and construction industries, and can be found at retailers such as Home Depot, Lowe's, Canadian Tire, Tesco, and Bunnings in Australia. In Sri Lanka, these products are available under our own Tip Top brand at supermarkets including Arpico, Cargill's, and Kiehl's. Please take a look. As a conscientious and leading integrated brushware and monofilament manufacturer, and Sri Lanka's pioneer in the sphere of polyester yarn production, BPPL's focus on sustainability permeates all its operations. Because we understand that our environment is part of a much larger ecosystem. It is why we harvest rainwater and use eco-friendly raw materials. Also use recyclable material in our packaging and source wood responsibly to conserve forests. Which is why we recycle waste and give it a second lease of life we strengthen our products with research and design to do more with less to make each product serve a unique purpose by using the best European machinery to produce high quality products we believe that's why our varied and versatile range of products are highly sought after the world over We aim to scale new heights, but by using clean energy, which is why we have commissioned a biomass and three solar power plants to supply 25% of our energy needs. Which is why we recycle close to 300 metric tons of plastic waste every month for extruding polyester-based monofilaments for use in brushware and brush handles. Innovation drives us to pioneer breakthroughs in filament technology. We constantly look for new uses for waste, which led us to invest in the production of polyester yarn. Our yarn is made exclusively from waste PET flakes. And our doped dyeing capabilities allows the insertion of color pigments at the time the yarn is produced thereby saving significant quantities of clean water otherwise necessary for fabric dyeing. 
unsustainable manufacturing and vertically integrated processes coupled with commitment to consistent quality, on-time delivery, reasonable pricing and flexibility allows us to supply to global brands and major distributors worldwide. Another source of strength lies in our collaboration with corporates and government agencies who work with us to ensure that we collect more bottles from more places all around the country. We have placed collection bins in strategic locations for everyone, everywhere, to make the right choice. And our community programs see to it that we provide hands-on assistance in vulnerable areas. Our work has also created community employment, generating direct income for over 2,000 collectors across the country. We never stop examining our value chain to be more flexible, more transparent, providing end-to-end -end solutions and minimizing risk for our customers. We are learning to be better, leaner, and doing more with less, because we know that even the smallest change we do here can have the biggest impact out there. In an effort to push boundaries further and create more value addition, we recently started the production of recycled polyester yarn. Take a look at how that's done. The bottles are then transported to our washing plant in Horina, 42 kilometers southeast of Colombo. Here, the bottles are debaled, then sorted. Once sorted, the bottles are baled again for storage until the washing process begins. in Horina has the capacity to wash 300 tons of waste bottles per month. We also have our own water treatment plant at this site. This ensures that 95% of the water used is treated and reused. The cleaned PET bottles are then processed and converted to flakes. We recycle up to 250 tons of PET each month, but it doesn't end there. Eco Spindles welcomes you to the first spinning or yarn production facility in Sri Lanka. The yarn you see is made exclusively from PET flakes. This is one of only two plants in the world capable of spinning yarn directly from flakes, circumventing the polymerization process adopted at other spinning plants. This facility also has a doped dyeing functionality, which allows for the introduction of color pigments at the time of spinning, ensuring a deeper color penetration and bypassing the need to discharge color waste. At Eco Spindles, we take pride in our sustainable manufacturing processes, which meet international environmental, ethical and governance standards. For us, this is just the beginning, as we continue to strive to contribute to the benefit of all our stakeholders and the planet we live on. Our high quality yarn can be woven or knitted into cloth or fabric. It takes 10 bottles to make a new t-shirt, 27 bottles to make a graduation gown, and 63 bottles to make a sweater. The possibilities and potential of what we can do are virtually limitless. I'm proud to say here that this plant, which commenced commercial operations one year ago 
is now running at full capacity, supplying polyester yarn to brands such as Nike, Decathlon, Essex in Sri Lanka. We are now planning for the next phase of that of its growth, a larger facility that can produce more yarn than the current plant. Ironically though, our situation has now reversed to one where there is an inadequate supply of plastic waste for recycling in Sri Lanka. Our network of collectors now deliver almost all the PT waste collected by organized waste collection bodies, such as municipalities, Pradeshia Sabhas, and urban councils. To further enhance our collection efforts, we have even placed collection bins in several schools, temples, and some bank branches. Yet, we lack the necessary infrastructure to collect plastic waste from rural villages where there is no organized waste collection network. This limits our ability to reduce plastic waste pollution in Sri Lanka. Our goal is to double collections to possibly five to six tons of PT waste each year. We have the demand for such waste in larger recycled polyester yarn plants that are pipeline. Our aim is to go further in closing the loop or the cycle of recycling. We hope to get there very soon. Thank you very much.